Hello, hello, who's there? Who is over here with me, okay? If you're there, let me know that you're there. Good afternoon, it's Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And I'm so glad you're here uh, to join me. Um, just wanted to come on and do some gift basket making this afternoon. Hey, Ashley Beauty, she is in the house. She is in the house, and guess who else is here? Bill is here too. Hi there. So I'm just waiting for y'all to come on in. And we are gonna start on our gift basket. Miss Superclutz is here. Aw, oh, Suki. <laughs> Ah, uh, hey, it's the Quilt of Marine is here. Hey, Yvonne and Mark, what y'all up to? Hey, Cloud Nine Crafts. I like that name. How are you? Hey, Becky, how you doing? I'm just going to pull this up on my computer. You see all this stuff I have on the table? Yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff when you're making a basket. So, Bill, we got 65 people on right now. Hey, Janice, how you doing? Hey, how's the weather over there? Ariel, you need to stop. My daughter's on here. She's upstairs, okay? <laughs> She's on this live, okay? Girlfriend, Ari, my daughter, is on the live. Happy holidays to all of you. Cecile, how are you? Dazzling Divas, how are you doing? Yes, we got everybody on here. We are so, so happy that you're going to join us. Bill, what you got to say? I hope y'all can see me all right. I'm going to pull up my computer. Hey, everybody. Look, I'm, ha I'm drinking tea, right? from my Dr. Seuss cup. Okay, my cat in the hat cup. This is off limits, this cup right here. So I'm having some chamomile tea because my throat has been kind of scratchy. So this cup right here is off limits. And Bill had my cup one day and I was like, Bill, that's not my cat in the hat cup, is it? <laughs> and this was a gift from my daughter Ariel when she went to um, Disney. So I'm like, what? Somebody has a drink out of it. So what are y'all up to? Thank you. I'm glad you like the cup. Let me get on camera here so y'all can see me here. Let's see where we are here. Because I am trying to position myself here so I can see everything. Bill is actually going to be on my laptop. And we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so how are y'all doing? Let me move my tea out the way so I don't spill it. And I see a bunch of y'all coming on right now. And I am just too happy. It's hard to tell when you can do a live because our schedule is just like, it's just up and down sometimes. Billy, Vaughn, and Mark are on here. Hello there. The quilting marine is in the house. Should I stay right here? Stand up. Yeah. Oh, I guess I need to mute this, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So am I positioned okay? Do I need to position the camera better? How's the reception also? Been really good. Okay. All right, so look what we got here. Got my gift basket. Got the things I'm going to put into the basket here. Am I positioned all right? Because I can't see the screen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. So can y'all hear me okay? And is the, uh, is it clear? That's my other thing. Yeah? Yes. I can't read the comments, so 
I'm just, I just want you to tell me if it's okay when you. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is, one of the biggest things is gauging how much stuff you put into a basket. And if y'all have not seen my other basket videos, I probably got about 30 of them um, all in the playlist. So um, I've done so many baskets, so many different ways. And the reason why I got started making baskets is because I wanted to make up a gift basket for my mom. So um, that's how I learned, basically. More than over 10 years ago, I believe. Longer than that. Longer than that? Yeah. So what are people on there saying? Who do we have in the house watching There's us? so many people. Okay. So read some of those comments to me, Bill. I like to hear from whoever. Zaleeg is uh, Vicky from Germany. So glad I caught you live again. Yay! Hey, Vicky from Germany. All the way from Germany. I'm so glad y'all caught me too. Mandy from the UK. So this may look like a complete chaos, but believe me, it's going to get into something that's, it's going to look nice. <laughs> All right. So what you want to do is you want to give, I, I consider this to be a medium sized basket, maybe five to between five and seven items, depending on the size, but you can add more or less. What I like to do is stuff my basket. So I'm going to get my, um, I'm going to show y'all what I use to stuff my basket. Bill, do you know what it is? Yes. What? Plastic bags. Bill, look, Bill, Bill has seen me do this so many times. I'm sure he, he could probably do this by heart. I can. So what I do, and you might not want to do it. If you want to use up all your tissue paper, you can. I just kind of put these in the bottom to raise my items up so that they look good. What are they? Hmm? Bass bags, plastic bags, right? So I like to use the handle basket because it just kind of gives me a nice little anchor when I start wrapping it up with my cellophane. So I'm going to be wrapping this too. So we got a lot to do today. All right, then I take some of my tissue paper and I just kind of put it in. So you see how everything gets raised up? And this is Dollar Tree tissue paper. This is nothing fancy because I'm trying to, we trying to create on a budget and make things still look good. Okay, so I do have some shred too. Let's see, this one right here. This is like a pearlized shred. So I do want to add some sparkle to my basket. So I like the way this shred looks. And am I focused okay, babe, on me? Yeah. You see this kind of like sparkly stuff? To me, it looks festive. So I, I'm just going to put some of this in here. And a lot of people don't like to use this. They think it's too messy. But sometimes I use only the tissue. Sometimes I'll use only the shred. It's just up to you. All right. So what we got so far? That's good. Hey, who can I say? Who can, who, who's on there? I just want to just call out some people that are joining us today. Bill, who can we say hi to? Oh, Inga is here. Who? Inga? Inga? Yeah. I hope I'm doing saying your name right. Inga or NG. It might be NG because I knew I knew someone named NG. And so yeah, I just started creating baskets over ten years ago, according to Bill. And I just loved making them, and I loved the look on people's faces when they got a basket. So one of the things that you can do is, I love adding cups to baskets. And when you know who you're making it for, it makes it so much easier. So I'm going to probably be readjusting stuff as we go. So I got this cup, and I just filled it with some tea bags. So that's just another thing you can do. You can also take some of your uh, shred. Let's see what I get with my shred here. Oh. If you want, take some of your shred, stick it in your cup also inside the basket because presentation is always key. Now I could take one of my flowers and put it in there too if I want. We'll see. 
Now, I usually like to work with the larger items first and then work my way back. So this is like a container. Y'all saw my top five gifts from Dollar Tree. That was a collab the other day. It's filled with candy. And just a note, when you use, when you're doing a basket and you're putting candy in there, normally you do not put candy in with stuff like this, like potpourri scented things or soaps. But because I have it in a container, it's going to be protected. So that just a, a heads up. And this container came from Dollar Tree, if you hadn't seen that, uh, that video. Okay, I do like my journals and stuff. So nice little notebooks, another great gift idea. And I'm just going to fill it up, start filling it. Because you'll be thinking, okay, where can I fill it, where can I fill it, just... Go ahead and start doing it. What's what's going on so far, babe, on the camera? The super class said you can make a basket for me filled with. <laughs> uh, corn pop. Ooh. So when I get that seventy. <laughs> there you go. Here's another idea candles now these are unscented so you remember i was saying if you're going to put something in with like the candy and stuff don't put scented stuff in there with it like food items or snacks and i'm just going to put my candles here becky wilson says where do we buy the baskets okay so good question becky don't sleep on that goodwill or the thrift stores there they have baskets that are in like really good condition like this one this is a Goodwill basket, and so it's in excellent, excellent condition. How much would you pay for something So like something that? like this, I think was like $2, uh, sometimes they're $1.97. Um, Goodwill is a really good supplier <laughs> for me of gift baskets. Now, especially after the holidays, people don't keep their baskets. They're like, I'll just go ahead and give it to, to Goodwill. But this is a gem for me to have like a basket like this. So. Goodwill, the thrift stores, sometimes they discount them. Uh, what was that other? Old Time Pottery had a huge basket sale at one part of the year. Probably after the holidays like this is a great time to get in and stock up your baskets. Okay, now I had this also with some nail polish in this. So you can really personalize your baskets. I'm going to take this and throw it in there. Now you see how it's filling up and looks nice and full. See, I'm gonna just kind of switch things around there. Got this box, and this box I actually taped down, but it also has chocolates inside. Let's see. This has chocolates in the gift card. This is another one of my top um, gift items from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take it, and I'm just putting it in here. Now let me let you see what it looks like on this side. So I like the basket to look good from every angle. And so I'm just kind of, so you can't really tell what's the front and the back, but this is really my front part here. Any questions ladies, so far? Leanne says, what's in the little container by the candles? Oh, man, it must have come in a little bit late. This has candy in it. This has, um, let me just show you real quick. For those of you that have come in late, we are making a gift basket for Christmas. So yeah, these are Dollar Tree Butterfingers. And I'm wrapping them up because I think that's one of Bill's favorite candies too. So I gotta wrap these up, <laughs> like real quick. No, you shouldn't even let me see inside the thing. <laughs> okay, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, we love the, um, the soaps from Dollar Tree. So I would not put anything in a basket that I wouldn't use. Uh, so I love these though. And I'm just going to kind of shove these in here next to the nail polish and stuff. Okay, so now here's a nice way to fill in your basket if you're like, okay, I want to put more stuff in there. You can take more of the shred. Are y'all still hanging in there with me? You're hanging in. All right. How are y'all liking this so far? Give me a thumbs up on this video. <laughs> There's Ariel upstairs listening to me. Right 
Oh, is it? <laughs> Ariel, come say hi real quick. Real quick. Huh? Here's Miss Ariel. I don't know if they can really see you. No. I can see myself. Hmm? Can they see you? No. The Ariel waved to you all over there. Here you go, here. There she is. <laughs> okay, so this is another way to fill up your basket by putting like the shred and stuff in here. Um, you can put different colors. I can take poinsettia, right? All those poinsettias you have left over, fill them up and use them as filler in your basket. Okay, what y'all, how y'all like that so far? It's coming along. It's coming along, right? Someone says, doing great. Can you do a fan topper? Um, What's a fan topper? That's when you take, uh, you actually take the, um, you take this and you can make like a fan coming out of the top of it. Uh, I probably won't do it though. <laughs> I probably won't do a fan topper. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. Okay, so once we got, <laughs> yeah, Ariel, look, and, and Gooby, everybody's at the table now, right? Now, another filler you can use on these is some um, ornaments. You can put ornaments in there to make it look decorative, too. That's a, just another idea. I mean, you can really start filling up your basket a lot. Let's see, another one over here. Put that in here. Now, another thing, if you know that your uh, some of the stuff is not staying still in your basket, you can use some of these glue dots. These basket glue dots I got from where to get these? Maybe Hobby Lobby or something? Maybe I'm not even sure. I've had these for a while though, but they're like little glue dots and they're clear and they'll stick your things together. So that's what they look like. But I don't even need to use it because everything looks pretty tight in there. Some of the things, um, yeah, it's pretty tight. So that's what it looks like so far. And look how full that is. I mean, this looks really full. So I'm going to take one of these now and just kind of fill this right up in here. Just put some tissue to add some color inside. And now we are ready to wrap it up. <laughs> Y'all still there with me? Yep, they're here. Somebody said, where are you selling it? <laughs> ah, no, this is actually someone's gift that I know, so it makes it a lot easier. Do we have any snow yet? We don't. Mm -mm. We had snow, but that was just a little bit. So th for this part, I just like to stand up. Rhonda Armstrong says she doesn't like blue dots. They don't work for her at all. Oh, they don't? Well, just don't use them. <laughs> If they don't work, don't use them. Janice said, I want cinnamon. Oh, you want to put them in a gift basket? <laughs> put Gooby in a basket. He's, he's a keeper. Denise says, Ariel, do you do any crafts? Um, I do not. At all the crafting parties I have for <laughs> Ariel. Ariel used to have a ton. You knew that when you were coming to her birthday parties, you were going to make something. Okay. Okay, so here's my cellophane wrap. This is Dollar Tree cellophane wrap. I'm not spending a whole lot of money. It'll still look good. And I just like to have a, a surface where I can spread everything out. Let me move this over a little bit. Am I still good on that camera? Yes. Okay. All right. So all I'm doing now is kind of moving this stuff over here so I can make some room. <laughs> so I'm just taking my basket and I'm just sitting it on my cellophane so I can see how much I need to gauge on this. So I want this to come over the top a little bit more. That's not enough for me because I want to have like a, a fan. The big fan at the top. Is that what she had asked me about the fan? Was that the same thing she had asked me? No. Oh, I thought it was something about a fan on the top of the basket. Okay. All right, so I just keep adjusting because you can always cut it down. Where's my brother-in-law and my sister, the quilting marine? Are they on here? Quilting marine, are they on here? I just saw them uh, log on. Okay, so here's, here we go. I'm bringing this up over the top here. 
And then I'm going to just cut it down. <laughs> cinnamon still in the show. What is Cinnamon doing? <laughs> he thinks he's in the video, okay? Believe me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting this down. Cellophane wrap for a dollar, y'all. Okay. And Ariel's channel is a beauty slash hair channel, and she's doing really good. I'm so proud of my child doing her stuff. And she records her videos from her dorm room. Okay, so now what I'm doing is, this is why I like the handle on here, is because I can just take this and kind of fold everything up around the handle. I'm just pulling all of my cellophane up toward the handle. You want to be careful because cellophane is very, um, it's fragile. I'm not blocking the camera here, am I? No. Everybody can see okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm just pulling this up. I don't even know how many baskets I've made over time. Hundreds. <laughs> Bill says hundreds, okay. Easily. Okay, so you see how everything is in there? So once I know, I'm just kind of taking a look. I like the way it looks. I'm just pulling everything up toward the center. I'm not worried about this. You see these sides sticking out? Don't worry about that. And then I'm just going to take a rubber band. Usually I just tie this off real quick. Um, but for those of you that might not be able to, don't feel comfortable just tying it off with this stuff, before you tie it off, just put a rubber band around it to hold it for you. That'll make it easier for you. And don't worry about that fan looking all messed up at the top. Don't worry about this. We're going to cut it down. All right, you can read some of the comments. Tamitha said, I'll send you my address so that basket can come to my house. Oh, Tamitha. <laughs> Tamitha is on here. Oh, yeah. Tamitha is awesome. Okay. Okay, so I'm just putting this rubber band on here, but I really, I don't usually use the rubber band, but I'm just using it just to hold this in place. Now you're going to just go ahead and take some of this. What's this stuff called again? I can't remember what this stuff is called. Skinny, ribbon. skinny ribbon. <laughs> yeah, take some of this red skinny ribbon and you're just going to tie this off like that. Am I still on camera okay? Because I'll be moving all over the place. No? Yeah. I mean, yeah okay, good. Right, so. Oh, good, good. And you can move back a little bit? Yeah, yeah. All right, back there there. you go. Ann Clark said, I used to do that for my children's birthdays. Always a craft, so that all... all Always a craft so that all the kids have something to take home. Yes, Ariel knows in elementary school you were yes, going to do a craft. Yes, Brenda and Inga said curling ribbon. Curling ribbon, yes, that's the name. Of that's it. the name of that stuff. Look, when you're on a live, you, 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 your uh, mind just kind of escapes you and goes blank. Okay. Okay, so we got our curling ribbon there. It's long. It's okay. Now we're going to take this and kind of neaten it up because it's too. It's too long. Okay, and I'm just gonna go up this way, and then I'm gonna cut down. And then that kind of fans out on its own there. I love baskets. I love, love, love baskets. Now I'm just gonna take this stuff here, and let me show you what I'm gonna do with that. I've got some packing tape here. They have this at Dollar Tree also. I know, but look, don't try to spend all that money on a lot of supplies. I'm just taking a tiny bit of this tape, okay? And you can't see it. I'm taking these sides here. Let me just turn this around. I'm just gonna take the sides of this and I'm just kind of turning it in. And I'm just gonna press it up against my basket and I'm just going to tape it right there. Oops. Okay. 
That's it. The, the um, cellophane will hold itself. Now I'm going to take this and do the same thing, kind of roll it up. And I'm going to take it to the side just like that. So you really can't see the seam on there. Um, it's pretty good where you can't really see it. Somebody said, where did you get your wrap roll? Um, that's from Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. All Dollar Tree. Okay, and look how colorful your basket looks. And we haven't even put the bows on there yet. Now, most places, they'll stop at just this little ribbon. Yeah, and when I go in the store sometimes, it just drives me crazy that that's, this is it. That's all they have. And it's like the bow is the icing on the cake. With the price tag on this thing, it say something outrageous. <laughs> it's almost like the wreaths, too. Sometimes you go in the stores and you'll see those wreaths. And you're like, wait a minute. There's no way that that wreath costs that much. And there's hardly anything on it but a ribbon. Okay, so what do we got so far? How do y'all like that so far? The wreath here says, I now know how to put cellophane over a basket. It looks professional. Oh, great, great. Yep, and it's real nice and tight. It's neat, you know. And if you know who you're making the basket for, it's a win-win because it, it just makes it a lot easier. Yes, they love it. Okay, so now these are the ribbons. These are the ribbons from Goodwill. Y'all probably seen me using it in another project. Goodwill ribbons. I just went and made bows out of them. Y'all know I got a ton of bow tutorials. And what I didn't want to do was put the um, tails on the bows because I, I kind of want this to be showing, what's in the basket to be showing. So all I did was tie it off with this. Now I could either use um, the, uh, what are these called? Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. Look, y'all know. Okay. I can use the pipe cleaners and tie this off. Let's see. Just put it right at the base here of my basket. Ashley Beauty says she wants this, but with loads of makeup. Oh, you know. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Ashley Beauty. She said, what are you making her and Joanne? <laughs> exactly, you know. Wait a minute, this, this bow right here, I actually want this one to go on the front. To me, this one has more of an impact. So I'm going to take this one and put it on here. Look at these bows. You would not know that this was a Goodwill ribbon. And it was, there were tons of it. Three of them came in this little thing right here. And it was like $2.91 and it came like in a bag of three rolls. Okay, so all I'm doing is just tying this off using my um, pipe cleaner. And then I'm just kind of putting it under and wrapping it around. <laughs> I'm so glad so many. How many of y'all hanging with me today? 79. All right. Oh, yours is better. My phone says 109. All right, I'll take that. 109 people sitting at the kitchen table with me. And like I said, I started my YouTube channel at the kitchen table, making a basket, not really knowing what I was, just kind of hoping that someone would watch. And a whole lot of you watched. <laughs> Cheryl Ann said, nobody makes better bows than Tracy. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Cheryl Ann. So what are you doing now? Okay, so now I'm going to decorate the back part of the basket because I like both sides. Some people just stop at the front, but I don't know. I just like to do both sides. I want it to look beautiful from both sides of the basket. So I like to do bows on each one. And sometimes I do double bows on each one. Okay, so we're going to just tie this on here. Everything at the base of that handle. And I can go back and neaten that up so I'm not worried about the bow not looking good. I'm going to go back and fluff it up. You heard of a Sephora basket? Sephora? Yeah. Ooh, Sephora. A Sephora basket. Have I, have I heard of oh, it? That's what that is? Oh, yeah. someone asked me if I heard Ashley of it? Ashley Beauty. <laughs> oh, that's what... <laughs> Ashley, Ashley throwing out some hints. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going back and neaten it up here. <laughs> Making it look good. 
What do y'all think so far? Very beautiful, fabulous. Look at that. This is wonderful. Tasty. No one's no one's gonna say, oh, isn't that ribbon? Doesn't that ribbon come from the Goodwill? Uh, no, they're not gonna say that. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see, it's in the top. Fantabulous. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, hey, you know, I love making those gift tags out of the cereal boxes, right? You remember this? If you haven't watched um, the videos where I make the gift tags, I like to make all the gift tags out of the um, cereal boxes. So I'm going to put my gift tag on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to string it with this again. With the... Um, what's curling it iron. Curling ribbon. <laughs> Bill's going to string it with the curling iron. The you curling, know what I mean? The curling ribbon. It's okay. curling something, okay? So I'm just stringing it just like that. And putting the gift tag on there using the same ribbon you don't you need to use another ribbon or anything and this looks absolutely adorable so we got that on there now i'm going to take this and just curl that up just like that see this is my first gift basket live y'all somebody said love it so much love in that beautiful gift basket Oh, um, you do gorgeous work on a budget. So inspiring. That was from Krista. Hey, Krista. And Crystal said, hi, Thank Tracy you. and Bill. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Hello. to y'all. And happy holidays, too. Arielle still hasn't told me what's on her, um, Christmas. She said something about some boots or shoes. A Sephora basket. Whoa. <laughs> Ashley Beauty, get on that. <laughs> Ashley Beauty. <laughs> Look. Ashley Beauty, you send out all these hints. Sephora basket, okay. Okay, so I'm done with that bow. I'm thinking that looks really good. So we're gonna look at this from all the angles. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it. Turning it. Turning it. That way I can get to see what it looks like on there. Look, I will go in a store, and if a bow doesn't look right, it just, I feel like I need to neaten it up. <laughs> and, and she will do it. I feel like I need, don't let me go in Walmart, because I feel like I need to rework some of the baskets in there. So I try to stay away from that section. And Uriel, Uriel and I stand over to the side and say, she's not with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have our beautiful gift basket. I think that anyone... I've done this before where I've left this at someone's door, uh, one of my friends, and then when she came out, she saw it <laughs> at the door, and um, she absolutely loved it. I made like a basket with like a bunch of goodies for her family so that they can like kind of enjoy their Christmas vacation, and so that's another really good idea. Spa baskets are also real popular. What's an ultra basket? Oh, Who said yeah. that? Actually, you no, Joanne. Joanne. Joanne, Ulta basket. Who, Joanne, who? Joanne Plans. Joanne Plans. Plans. <laughs> <laughs> either one, I'm good ah, with either one. Look, Ariel love her beauty stuff. Shona says she needs a basket like this but full of cooking spices. Oh, that would be nice. Ooh, yeah. yeah, cooking spices basket. The super plus. You know what? Mark would like something like that too. She says, oh my God, Tracy, your ideas are so ingenious. You never cease to amaze. Oh. I'm in awe. They're brave, breathtaking. Right, so it doesn't take a whole lot. I started with a VHS video. I did it with a VHS video that was in the library. And I just looked at it, got the just the regular... If you get down just the, the basics of making a basket, you can make them. Sue, you know? Sue said, I'm a new subscriber as well as being a beginner at crafting. So you can bet I will be binge watching your channel. Oh, good. And we've got, a, I've got a ton of videos on there too. So um, I'm just adjusting my camera here. I'm so glad, Sue, that you're joining us. I try to do stuff in a real... Hmm? Oh, slide this back? Okay. Yeah. Um, I try to make it really easy so people feel like they can make it. Um, I've done a Valentine's basket before. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to do a, a Valentine's basket. I have a couple of videos, but if y'all want to make another video. Someone said a uh, bath and body works basket. Yes. That's a good one. Yep. So you just, and it doesn't have to be this size. You can have it smaller. 
Um, I've made a really large basket before, and they do sell cellophane, not a Dollar Tree, but there is cellophane that comes in a larger size. I think it was at, it was at Michael's, and it was a, uh, so it'll fit like a larger basket. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make like a basket for a family with like a lot of goodies and things like that, stuff for the family, um, little games and stuff, card games, that's another good one too, don't you think, man? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Bill's like, yes. <laughs> So how many people we got hanging on here with us, Ariel? Let's see, we have 94 people. All yes, right. That's right. So any, any question? <laughs> any other questions? I think, um, it came, I think it came out good. Peggy said, Tracy, Quilting Marine needs a sewing basket. <gasps> yes. Um, Luis said, <laughs> love the bow, it's gorgeous. Miss Super Klutz, your videos are always mesmerizing. Oh, thank you. And see, there was other things that I could have added into this bow, like this stuff. This would be nice just putting like somewhere in your bow. Like you can incorporate it into the bow and have it hanging or whatever. Um, there's just always something else you can add to your basket. And just don't, don't uh, be afraid to try new things. Now, if I want to, I can take an ornament and you can just string it on here. And you can dangle the ornament. I'm not going to do that now because it, I think I need something like red or white maybe. And just dangle, or green. A green ornament would be nice. Just dangle it from, from this way. <clears throat> Barbie Little says, I made about 25 baskets for Valentine's Woo! Day a year ago. And I made about $300 at my husband's job. Thanks to your incredible video. Thank you. Who's that? Barbie Little. Barbie. Barbie Little. Go ahead. I've had a lot of people that write me and say, you know what, I needed some extra income. And so I watched your videos and they made it easy enough for them to be able to follow the whole process of putting a basket together. So when I do a video, my main goal is to make sure that you can understand it where you can say, you know what, I can do that. And so that was always my goal to do it, to explain it in a really clear way um, so that you can understand and say, you know what, Tracy inspired me to make one. I'm going to go ahead and make it. So I have a lot of people that have written to me and said they've been able to make money just from the baskets. Because I used to make them for a school I used to work at. And that's where I started making baskets for, for men. Men have no idea what to get their moms or even their wives. I've made a Valentine basket for someone who didn't know what to get his wife. And I was like, I'll help you. <laughs> okay, just give me the money and I'll, I'll put it together for you and, and, and put it into a nice presentation. And he said it was like one of the nicest gifts that she ever got. I've got some people who've never opened their baskets. Oh, yeah. For I mean, years, I don't know. Years. Look, and my sister, she's Ten on years. here. <laughs> my sister is on here. She's one of them. I made a candle basket for her about four years ago. It was longer than that, about six, seven years ago. You think so? And she still has the basket unwrapped. And the candles are really nice. So, um, yeah, we just... You just never know. So I try to make them beautiful enough that people won't want to open them, but I do hope you open them and enjoy the goodies. Um, we have May Bassett's. She said a basket for pets, for pet lovers. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, Rhonda said a wine basket for Valentine's Day. A wine basket, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Becky, Becky Wilson said, I sell Avon and plan to make some Avon baskets to sell. Oh, not, yes, I do have people who do Mary Kay and they do Avon and they put their stuff into a basket and then make a nice presentation. So that's just another option too. So just so many people. I'm just like, I never knew that when I was sitting down at my, uh, at my table that I would be able to inspire so many people to just create something beautiful, basically. And so when I make a basket, it comes from the heart. It's something I love doing. And so hopefully it shows in the baskets. Yes. Someone said, I make baskets because of your uniqueness and you have so much fun doing it. Thanks, Tracy. It's fun. It's fun. Just give it a try. If you're kind of like, I think I could do it. I know you can do it. Yep. Well, what's great about these baskets, though, in particular, is that when Tracy makes them for someone, she takes everything into consideration about their inclinations, what they like, the colors, yes, what have you. Then she constructs the basket in such a way that it's individualized for that person and that person alone. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to just mm -hmm. see a basket being put together, but when you really understand 
that you're tailoring these baskets for that person, it puts a whole different <laughs> stamp on the situation. It really does. Yes, it does. It sure does. I've seen some baskets that Tracy's created that was so awesome. It was just incredible. You'll be like, yeah. that they were highly individualized, though. And that's what I like about them is that each basket is different. <clears throat> each basket is different. And let's see if I can find some. Let's see. Someone said a wedding basket with champagne glasses. I've done that before. Yep. A pet basket. I see y'all on there. I see y'all. Put a pet, pet basket would be cute. And put a pet. Can you put a pet in it? I've never done a pet basket. I think that'll be fun. A pet basket with a pet in it. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we do that? No, babe. No. <laughs> Somebody said a Tracy basket filled with your crafts. Just your that crafts. would, would be, nice be really yeah. fun. Okay, yeah, that would be a, a nice basket. Idea. That's a good one. A good Let's keep. Idea. We need. I need to keep that in mind. Yeah. Who came up with that idea? Um, that was... Go whoever said that. Cheryl Ann. Cheryl Ann, go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Dollar Tree items. Oh, Sue said Dollar Tree items like adult coloring books with colored pencils <laughs> and maybe some cute socks and toiletries to donate to nursing homes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That would be nice. Your husband works at a... At a car dealership, and went to his, oh, and went to his job. Oh, you did one for his job. Yeah, these are great. I mean, even people in your community put together a basket full of snacks or why well, I'm always stuck on snacks, okay? <laughs> or just things like like when I worked at the library, I would make a ba a big basket with goodies for everybody inside of it. Did so you made one for the hospital that time. Um. Ariel's floor. We sure did. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, we when Ariel... Um, it was a huge one. We loved the fourth floor uh, nurses at Children's Hospital. And when Ariel was at the hospital, we made so many friends there. And I wanted to just show them my appreciation. So I filled a basket full of a t tons of goodies. Um, and just gave it to them just because... And I don't think many people um, do that. So I just think it's a great way to show appreciation. The basket was huge. Somebody said, I want a basket with a Tracy clone in it to help me create. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all are too nice. Okay. <laughs> Someone said, gender reveal basket. Ooh, so how, how would you do that, though? If it was pink or blue, how would you hide? You have to hide the color, right? Um, or it you could know be what? a neutral color and then you take something out Inside, the right. Yeah. So I, I would hide something inside if you're going to do a gender reveal basket. That would be cute. Maybe a little box inside with a neutral color and then inside that box put something that's set like a pink note or something. I don't know, pink heart. Something that shows that this is what it is or, or blue, you know. Fun, fun. A book reader basket with a mug. <gasps> Oh, Janice says a, a nail, a nail art basket. Oh yeah, mani pedi. Someone said. Oh, Manny that'll Petty. be nice. What was what's the one that you read off, Ariel? Um, someone said a mani pedi basket, and someone said uh, a book reader basket with a a mug and a couple of books and a gift card to Barnes and Noble. Ooh, nice. A, yes. A cell phone basket. <laughs> Bill giving us time. When you give someone a cell phone, you got to get all accessories, all cables, cases, uh, whatever, and uh, put in the basket. I bet they open that one. Exactly. Teresa said, I'm making my mail carrier an appreciation box with cookies, popcorn, hot chocolate, and coffee mugs. Yes, we can't forget those mail carriers that are out there um, delivering the mail. Yep. Basket for a nurse. I think that'll be good. A planner attic basket with a planner and accessories. Yes. You see all of these ideas? And especially, I know that Valentine's Day is huge. Of course, Christmas is huge. Mother's Day is big. I made Bill a Father's Day basket because a lot of people don't make the male inspired baskets. But I know what to put in Bill's basket. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks, okay. And maybe put a nice Snack. mug in there for him. I also made a gym basket one time with towels and things like that. that was and a good one. um yeah. 
And, and I, put, I, some, I, I put healthy if, snacks So if I ever decide to go to the gym, I'm not going to use that thing, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's just so much. So you know, um, yes, a sympathy basket would be nice. A grief basket. A basket for someone who's taking care of someone else. Um, that would be nice, a caretaker basket. Tina said, Tracy Bill is drinking out of your cup. Oh, you saw that. You Look. saw that. <laughs> you saw that. Drink it out of my <laughs> I gotta sneak it in. <laughs> she had her back turned. And I asked him, I said, Bill, do you want some tea? Because I'm doing my chamomile tea right now. I said, Bill, do you want some tea? She never drinks it, okay? She makes a whole thing of it, so I just say no, that way I drink hers. It's the same well, as having it. Drinking the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I have it right there. Slime maker baskets. You know what? That I think that would be a fun basket. I don't know who's getting slime, but I think it's... <laughs> Put all the ingredients for slime. Oh, look, I'm drinking my tea now. Exactly, Ashley. Okay. Bill is hilarious. He got caught. Look, he <laughs> wakes up like this. Who threw Bill under the under the uh, Yeah, bridge? someone threw me under the bus. Okay. That was uh, Tina. Tina. Tina threw him under the Tina. bus. <laughs> Tina, look. Tina, look. I did I did look kind of Bill is like, let me go ahead and ban Tina from uh look, Tina, if you get banned, it's not because of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ashley, don't ban Tina. Tina was looking out for me. Go, Tina. Look, I'm going to have to tell Tina whenever we're on these lives to look in the background, okay? Because <laughs> apparently... <laughs> oh, Joanne Plant said a wedding night basket. That would be nice. A romantic what wedding night in basket. That I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Look, Ariel's looking like, I don't know we put in that basket. Good, okay? <laughs> and you won't know for another 20 years. <laughs> Oh, look at Tina is over here dying. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but crafting is fun. It should not be stressful. I mean, slap some paint on there. Here's what I used to tell the kids in the library. And sometimes I had like, I, had, I remember having a Dr. Seuss party, remember? And we were doing a craft. And so what I usually do is I show the kids exactly what they're going to make. And then I tell them, here's what Miss Tracy's craft looks like. You just do your own thing. Yours is going to be just as special because you made it. And so that was, you're talking about a craft for over 100 kids at a Dr. Seuss party at the library, okay? <laughs> so you just have to really, um, you just make it your own. Just do your own thing when you're crafting. I like the fact that there's no rules. If I, if I have to have a lot of rules, that takes away, it, it adds stress. So... Cooking a meal for two baskets. That's a good one. That's a good one. And you yeah. can put a recipe book in there too. Um, someone said a vacation basket with a journal. Yeah. That would be nice. With a vacation in it. <laughs> you know? Bill said put the, the, the tickets for the vacation in there too. <laughs> I bet that one get open. A Hawaiian vacation basket. Y'all go ahead and send that basket with the tickets and stuff. <laughs> Someone yeah. said a, a blessing basket and give out to the homeless. That would be nice. That's a good one, especially right now around the holidays, but also throughout the whole year. I think that would be a nice one. Joanne Plans, I know you're a rule breaker. Yep. Date night basket. Hashtag juicy from Ashley Beauty. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> A, Louis a Louisiana lottery basket with the winning ticket in it. Okay. Yeah. It Someone said going away to college basket. That's a good one filled with goodies. Did I ever make one for you, Ariel? Oh, no, I think no we did. just took yeah. a bunch of stuff to the dorm. Okay. It was not going in no basket. But I think I made little... I did you like make, did make something for her friends the other day? Yeah, like some Halloween Ooh. goodie bags and stuff. Someone said, will, a will you marry me basket. But the person <gasps> doesn't know it's it's for that until they open it. That's a good one. So you could hide the ring inside the Oh basket. my goodness. As long as they don't put it in the tissue. You got to make them open it then. Yeah, then they got to open it. Well, yeah, you that gotta make them still open work. It. Yeah. Yeah. I'll open that it later. Nice they one. hit you with all kinds of stuff. Like, it looks too <laughs> nice to open it. You're going to open this basket <laughs> right now. Open the basket now. Yeah. Then you make them pissed off and they don't say I do. 
Yep, yep. Look, y'all just y'all go ahead and, and um Y'all go ahead and make the basket. Yeah, y'all make the basket, especially that vacation basket, okay? And send them on the Facebook group. The Facebook group. Oh uh, yes. For Bill, a Louisiana hot sauce basket. Exactly. A seventy inch T V basket. <laughs> Still throwing that out there, okay? But I hope y'all are having a great, great evening. We're going to go ahead and sign off because I got to get something to eat, you know? So hopefully Bill will go ahead. I'm not cooking. Not cooking, okay? (laughs) So Bill is going to go ahead and get something. Y'all still coming up with ideas. Barbecue basket. Barbecue basket is a good one. Did you put the toys in there? But that one it was so Hi, great Sammy. seeing you too, Ashley Beauty and Joanne Plans. Y'all have a great evening, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye. bye. Bill, say bye. There you see go. ya. <laughs> and don't drink my tea. Someone caught me. <laughs>